morning, Arthur. Is that a threat? Another great way to a man's affection. Oh, shut up. Gladly. Lenny and I raided a big old house in the swamps. Stole some guns. Good work. Yeah, it's a pretty good spot. Well hidden. Well, I should get back to it. All right, then. Miss Grimshaw? Ah, uh, you're looking much better. I was worried. Yeah, I'm fine. Anyway, I won't disturb you. We'll see you later. Morning. Morning, Mr. Morgan. You know, too many folk around here take you for granted. Well, that's nice of you to say. Me? I'll just take you for the fool you are. Not this again. Take it easy. I'm just needling you. Well, sometimes it's hard to tell. Good morning, Arthur. So, what do you think of this place? Seems fine for now. I know this area a little. Is there anywhere you ain't been, Jose? Okay, I'll catch you later then. Sure, Arthur. Feel myself. Been out a lot. Sure. Anything fun? I've been bad. I've been killing animals just for the hell of it. That's it. Mm, I've been hurting women too. Bad. I can't explain it. What's wrong with you, Arthur? I just get so angry about everything, about how this is going to end. Well, it'll only end well if you keep your mind, Arthur. We need you. I know.
Looking real nice today, Bill. Shut up. <laughs> We've been waiting for you, Arthur. Well, I'm sorry to have kept you. Come on, let's get going. What's the plan? We're meeting a couple of the Greys over at the saloon. They spoke to Bill about a job, needing security. After the farce of stealing the horses for them, why are we doing this? Because we need to stay in with them, and they're paying. So what kind of security they want? We're about to find out. Now come on. This seemed legit to you, Bill? Sure. Dutch said we was to keep on dealing with them until we find this gold. Can we trust them? Can we trust anyone? Yeah. Let's just see what they say. They said there was some big misunderstanding about them horses. And what about born in their fields? They don't know we had anything to do with that. Oh, that's so? Yeah. They think it was the Braithwaite's. Listen, I know these great boys a bit now. This is on the level. We're stuck in the middle of some ancient feud, but instead of playing both sides, we're being used by both of them. They were saying that Catherine Braithwaite... Hey, hold up. This don't feel right. Now it don't feel right? I could have told you.
bunch of two-bit thugs from God knows where? You so dumb to think we don't know what you've been doing. Come out, Sheriff. It's over. We put down far worse than you a hundred times over. This is the Grays town. Always has been, always will be. Only Grays I see left around here is you. You want us to come out? We'll come out. Yeah. Oh, Bill. Guns on the ground now. Both of you, don't do it. You know we can't do that. You put the gun down, Sheriff. I'll blow his brains out. You want to join your little friend there, do you? Either way, you're a dead man. Morgan? How the hell was I to know? Let me see. They set us up once before. They didn't like us. We destroyed their farm. Should I go on? Go easy on him, Morgan. He was out trying to find a lead. Same as you. Same as Hosea. All you do is complain when things don't work out. Except when it's your goddamn fault. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't give a damn about nobody but yourself. Oh, you act so high and mighty, but you're no better than the rest of us. I've ridden with you boys close on what, six months now? And all you ever done was complain. You can fight, but you can't think. You can't do either. <laughs> okay, cowpoke. Bill, take the boy's body. Hurry him proper someplace quiet. Mark you? Best you and I don't speak for a moment. <laughs> I'm just so frightened by you. Get out of my sight, pair of fools. He was like an annoying little brother to me. What fun we had riding together. What a goddamn mess we're making of things. <laughs>